Andrew McGann for Severe MMA standing alongside the Irish Psycho. What happened to sandwiches, Tommy? Uh, sandwiches, uh, I still like sandwiches, but uh, the Irish Psycho just uh, sort of happened. The lads talked about it and uh, as a joke first and it fits. It's a bit of an evolution. Um, I know you were, if you don't mind me saying, you were losing fights in Ireland that maybe you shouldn't have been losing. Uh, you went over to Scotland recently, an impressive win. What's changed, apart from the haircut, the stylish undercut, what's changed in Tommy Martin? In here, big time, yeah. I just uh, I used to be a bit ignorant towards the mental side of it. People used to say, like Connor years ago was saying, it's 90% mental and 10% physical. I said, oh, fuck that, I'm training my body in, day in, day out, how could it be? But over time, like, you know, I just, uh, I just learned and, you know, every, every loss, you know, unless you, if you quit there, then you, then you really lose. But if you learn from it and you keep going, that, that's a winner. And uh, that's changed big time and that's, I know it up here now. And as well as that, I know you've been taking uh, kickboxing bouts or competing a lot in jiu-jitsu tournaments. We saw tonight great cage control to a take. And it seemed like you were on, a back, on his back for an age, though. Was there a time in your head you thought this guy might see the round out? Uh, I was a little bit, and I was kind of rushing at the start. Um, it's, just, it's just normal to do that and uh, calm down a bit. I see, it felt his, his body, he was calming down too, so I calmed down with him. And then I just felt the true, and eventually I sunk it in. But uh, everyone's as tough as you, I can't survive that choke. Well, I, I wouldn't say that show. I your body triangle. Yeah. You know, I know you had him in a body triangle. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've uh, experienced that. Yeah. It feels like your ribs are on the way out. But you, it also, with the rear naked choke, it looked like you were cranking his face at one time. He just didn't want to give it up. Um, from our point of view, all I saw was him go limp. Uh, did you set it up in any way to get the arm under the chin? Because it seemed like it was stuck on his jaw yeah. for a long time. Um, just go back and readjust, pretty much, and then... I felt it was on the chin. I, I tried it a few times, and sometimes like you just have to go for the crank. You know, it's uh, it's it, I don't think it's a dirty move. It's just uh, it's part of martial arts now. And if they don't want the crank, they'll get the choke or one or the other. As I said, the the change around you, you're fighting a lot more actively. I know you're training as much, if not more. Um, what's the plan now? Any more fights before the end of the year? I know we've battle zone towards the end of November. I'm not sure if I saw your name on that. I'm on that, yeah. Um, and then Cage Warriors New Year's Eve. Possibly, we'll see. As long as I don't have to cut the featherweight. What, what's the big deal with featherweight? Is that something maybe looking towards a pro or stay at 70? Oh, I don't like cutting weight in general. And um, what I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to, to change it all together to, to get the, change the system. Because like, tonight, this fight tonight was booked at featherweight. We both, we both walk around the same way. I knew it. I said to John, look, I bet this guy walks around the same way as me. He caught his, his coach and all, and it turns out we are. So it's like, what, what's the point in cutting all that weight down to 66 We could just fight at 70? And, we're, and it's an easier wake up for us. And nobody else cares about it. No, the coaches don't care, the fans don't care. And it, all it does, it benefits us, you know, but we don't want to cut weight. And like, we're just cutting the same shit down. Like, it makes no sense at all. So I'm just trying to like restructure it and like, get it back to like, we, we do this because it's fun. No one says we want to do this because we want to cut weight. I want to do it because we want to fight and that's it. And don't like restrict my food or anything like that. So Tommy Martin's uh, single-handedly restructuring Irish amateur MMA? I'm trying to. I want to get matched. I want to fight featherweights at lightweight. So we're taking it back to the way it used to be. All right, I'm not fighting lightweights. I'm not fighting guys who are 10 kilos heavier than me. I'm fighting guys the same way, but I don't, want to, I don't see the point of the bullshit wake up. Excellent, Tommy. Uh, great way to end the interview. Much. Thank you very, very much. much.